Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Last week, I was at a um, Fuji JFX 100 Mark II event. I think it was like a first look here in Toronto. Toronto? 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 Whichever way you guys pronounce it, you guys know what I'm talking about. The city here in Canada. And it was a really cool event, and I got the opportunity to get hands on with the camera. And I tell you guys, I absolutely love that camera that camera is sick in every way the first thing that came to my mind was how were they able to make a medium format camera that has i would say really good autofocus because that was the biggest issue i had with the um the first generation which i actually shot with um I, a friend of mine liberty had one of them so when i was shooting in my studio i used it and i loved the image quality i loved everything about the camera i loved the way funny enough um by the way you would think the camera is going to be really heavy but it's not um probably like the same size as uh the r5 with the grip maybe just a little bit heavier but you would not be able to tell um anyways back to what i was saying and the old focus when i shot with it at first wasn't great now the autofocus is really good it's almost like you're using a mirrorless camera that camera is just nice in every way and i think i love about the fuji systems is what they do with the battery grips the fact that you have a battery inside the camera and then you have two extra batteries in the grip making it three batteries in total i think that's really really cool so i absolutely love that so um the event was really cool we had i think it was broken down into three there was somebody that was showing how to shoot products with the camera um, there was a video um, part of the event. So there was a part where the camera was actually rigged. Imagine a medium format cinema camera. So that was really cool. My name is Fasis Belfey. I am a technical marketing specialist at Fujifilm. And I want to show you the brand new TFX 102. Now, this camera traditionally, you know, medium format is going to be uh, majorly looked after for photography, but this camera really makes a big difference in terms of using it for cinema first of all this is uh in terms of you know cinema world this is a large format camera it does have a large format sensor in it so that's the first unique thing that you have but also you know looking at things like 8k video we have support for permista lenses uh anamorphic lenses built-in d-squeeze and then obviously you know you can really rig it out to create some amazing looking content now, in terms of supported formats, this camera can shoot in ProRes internally, but you can also shoot in ProRes RAW or Blackmagic RAW. So really the extent of use of this camera is pretty amazing. Now, this GFX camera features the latest 100 megapixel high speed sensor. So in terms of rolling shutter, it's going to be very minimal. So that's usually the main concern whenever we choose um, a video camera is we want to make sure that rolling shutter is not an issue and that won't be the case with this camera. Another thing that makes you realize that this camera has been taken seriously is the fact that we have a custom cage from Condor Blue and it also the ability to uh, put an SSD right into the handle and then to connect it to the camera so we can directly record to the SSD itself. Now of course you can rig it, you know, we have Nucleus uh, follow focus system we have matte box, V-mount batteries. So yeah, you can use that for, for serious work. So if you're interested into large format videography at a reasonable price, I mean, that camera is around $10,000 for large format cinema camera and photo camera. Definitely have a look at the GFX 102. And then there was the portraits. I got to like shoot with the camera, shoot the model, and also bring the files home to check them out. It was just really, it was a really good camera and if you are into any kind of commercial work or you just need a camera that has really high resolution you know i think it's 102 megapixels that camera would definitely be something that you should be looking at i love what fuji is doing the fact that they have the um i would say the APS-C line and if you know anything about me you'd know i'm not like a huge fan of APS-C cameras but i love that they have the APS-C line and also they have um the um, medium format line so they are not really worried about full frame so it's like okay you know we're going to one up on you full frame guys it's it's such a beautiful camera and something that i think everybody that um has the opportunity to actually shoot with it should definitely check out so big shout out to fuji um they are doing some amazing things in the medium format space and hopefully i'll be able to get the camera 
in studio, test it out and, you know, get to use it and really, really see what it would be like using it in my environment as a portrait and beauty photographer. So one last thing I like to talk about is the viewfinder. The fact that you can actually turn it to different um, angles and also, you know, just raise it up, then remove the viewfinder if you do not want that. It's just amazing i feel like more cameras should adopt what fuji is doing their innovation is just really great i absolutely love what fuji is doing with their medium format cameras and um it's definitely on my list of cameras once i'm settled and you know i get back into sh shooting commercial work definitely a camera that i'll check out so definitely check out the fuji gfx mark ii um gfx 100 mark ii hopefully i'll get to check it out again see you guys peace out